Hello and welcome to another video in TRC's How To series. My name is Jack and today I'm going to be telling you how to pick the perfect splash for your skin type or just your general preferences. Um, let's get started in the types of splash then or the types, types of post shave shall we. So this is your traditional alcohol splash. We'll go over what it's for in a minute. This is your alcohol free aftershave splash. This is your post shave toner. This is your skin food aftershave splash. And this is your post shave balm. So let's go over to where I think they're all applicable and where they might suit your preferences. So let's start with this uh, more traditional alcohol splash. So where, where would I recommend this? Uh, do you like alcohol burn? Yes. Do you want a bit of fragrance after you shave? Yes. I don't feel these splashes tend to have the best skin nourishing properties but they do fit those two, um, I guess, bits of criteria quite well. Uh, if you like the alcohol burn, if you find it invigorating, I know a lot of people do, not personally myself, but that's an option there. If you also like uh, the fragrance to match your soap after you shave, because of the format of these, the alcohol, the alcohol splashes, I think, tend to last a bit longer in terms of fragrances. So this is an option for you. Generally also because of the lack of ingredients, um, they tend to be a bit more affordable too. This one specifically was $13.50, which in the current market is actually quite affordable for an aftershave splash. So in summary for the aftershave splash, long last, longer lasting fragrances. If you like the alcohol burn, it's definitely there. Something I would recommend though, after you use that, even if you don't describe yourself as having sensitive skin, I do recommend using a post shave balm after you've used it. Generally alcohol can dry out your skin. That's just my preference. Take it what you will. Uh, let's start, let's go on then to the alcohol free splash. Now, if you like the, the scent with your post shave, if you also don't like the astringent nature, the burning nature of alcohol, this is a really good option for you. You won't get the, the alcohol burn. And in, with this one specifically, you get lots of incredibly high quality ingredients. This is the recovery splash from Singari Man. Um, it has, ingredients very much depicting a skin food splash with no alcohol. If you don't like that burn, this is definitely the option for you. Um, this won't dry out your skin. This would be very nourishing for your skin. This could cover both skin food after shave splash and um, alcohol free after shave splash. So this is a really, really good all round option. The unscented splash from Zingari Man. The post shave toner. Uh, I, I find toners tend to be a bit more oil-based, but the, the application of them is a little bit different. Um, this specific toner is done by Chatillon Lux, which isn't currently made anymore, unfortunately, but there are still a lot of toners on the market. This one specifically contains quite a lot of good oils, um, really, really skin nourishing. And I think these are good in place of skin food splashes that contain alcohol. If you don't like alcohol this is another really good option this is alcohol free most toners will be alcohol free so if you have sensitive skin and you just want something to nourish your face after you shave that also matches with scents most post shave toners will definitely take that box for you and this is your skin food after shave splash now the, what i would recommend these is let's say hypothetically that you like that burn of the aftershave splash um the traditional aftershave splash but you want that really nice skin nourishing quality that a lot of skin food aftershave splashes have your skin food really really fits that bill for you so this this will give you the burn this will also give you the scent but it will all it will nourish your skin after you shave um kind of probably the most encompassing one out of all of these i don't really feel the need to use a balm after most of these just because of the high quality ingredients they they do consist. I, I would say though that typically because of the ingredients, they are quite a bit more expensive than your typical traditional after aftershave splash that contains alcohol. But overall, this is a really balanced option. And I think this will definitely suit you well if you like that, the burn, but also want some skin nourishing properties too. Last but not, last but very not least is probably the most important one for me. And this is the aftershave balm. Um, the aftershave balm, has tons of applications for me, not just your, not just your face after you shave. You can use this as a moisturizer. Uh, you can use this if you have dry hands. You could use this for so many things, but ultimately I think personally, after most splashes I use that are leaning on the more traditional shader, I will always use an aftershave balm. 
It's skin nourishing. It does exactly what it needs to on your skin. They often contain such phenomenal ingredients that your skin requires after you shave. You know, you're dragging a, a blade across your face, which probably isn't the best for your skin. So giving it the nourishment it needs after is a very, very good idea. So let's summarize this then. Um, how to pick the perfect splash for you. Find your criteria. If you want lots of fragrance, if you want lots of fragrance and don't particularly want to spend lots of money, this guy is for you, that traditional aftershave splash. If you're willing to spend a bit more money, you want lots of fragrance, but you don't like the alcohol burn, you have two options. You have most toners and alcohol-free splashes. If you like the burn and you want some fragrance, but you also want that skin nourishing, the skin food aftershave splashes are a really good idea for you. And last but very not least, just get an aftershave balm because they are applicable year round, very useful. Like I said, anything dry on your body, got dry elbows, got dry hands. After you shave, apply a little bit of an aftershave balm and you'll really notice difference in terms of the, just the general overall feel of your skin and the health of the skin on your face. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. If you're yet to subscribe to the Razor Company channel, I highly recommend you do. There's some fantastic content on this channel. It's only gonna get better as the months progress and the channel ages. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Apart from that, my name is Jack, and goodbye for now.